Hello, it's Claire here and welcome back to another Take Action Daily video where I give you some quick ideas to uh, think about and implement in your interior design, decoration, architecture business so that you can continue to move it forward, make progress, find more clients and ultimately build a bigger business, have more freedom in your life and also make more money as well. So that's what we're talking about in these videos. So um, we're up to a quite a few episodes now. So if you haven't seen all of them, definitely jump back and take a look wherever you are watching. They are all posted up where you're watching. So um, yeah, definitely take a look. Now today, what I want to talk about is how to price your interior design services or your decoration or architecture services. It's all the same. This is something that I go into in depth in my pricing for interior design uh, course and also in my passion to profit course as well. So we talk in depth about different models. Um, and one of the things about pricing creative services is that it's really more an art than a science. So it's definitely something that you are going to morph and change over time. You're going to test it in the market. You're going to see what resonates in the market and all of that sort of thing. But it's definitely one of those things that I get asked questions about all the time. It's definitely something that people feel super nervous about, especially when they're first getting started. And I actually think even later on as well, because I think often people, uh, or more often than not, people who I come across, designers who I come across, and not charging enough for what they do. Uh, and so they're working hours and hours and hours and hours in their business and they're just not seeing the revenue coming in that supports the type of work that they are doing or the number of hours that they're putting in. And so probably what you'll find is that you have not been charging enough. Uh, and this is a typical problem in the creative industries. People undervalue what they do. Um, they find it hard to find their worth in that and they, um, and they find it hard to sort of price their services and work out how on earth they should do it. So what I want to do today, as I said, in my courses, I go into a number of different models and I go into a lot of this in depth a little more, but I want to share my iPad screen and I want to give you a very simple model for you to start thinking about pricing and how you can price because once you get your head around the mathematics of this and I am a bit of a maths nerd I loved maths at school I was all over it um, I did quite a high level of maths that I have never used again in my life but simple maths like we're going to do today is not is like you don't need to worry you're going to be on top of it I'm going to show you how to do it um, and it's not difficult at all but we need to um, just think through a few different numbers and then we're going to come to a particular day rate and we're going to talk through how to sort of think about all of this so that you can at least find a baseline um, rate that you can be using uh, that can sort of underpin a lot of your thinking around how to charge for your design services so that's what we're going to be doing so I'm going to share my iPad and basically what we need to start with and I'm also going to drink my tea because I'm still drinking my tea this morning hang on sorry to slurp in your ear okay we're going to start with a couple of assumptions Assumption number one is, or the thing you need to think about first is how many days in the year do you want to be able to work or can you work in a year? So that's the first thing you want to be thinking about. Do you have capacity to be working full time? Are you a mom, a parent? Um, do you have enough time to spend full time 52 weeks a year? Probably not. So have a think, do you need to take school holidays off? Uh, I know i barely can get much work done in the school holidays and definitely when I was working as a designer I was not doing a lot of work in school holidays because client meetings and all of that sort of stuff is a disaster um, and I sort of my kids aren't massively keen on school camps and stuff so they were often with me but um, that's a whole other video actually that is a whole other video because I can tell you how I manage some of that because often my kids would come with me on design consultations and stuff like that so build your family into what you're doing make this work for you make a business that works for you so I'll talk about that in another video very good idea um, so that's the first thing how many days in the year do you want to work so what I'm going to assume is that you uh, you know might take eight weeks off a year, school holidays, holidays, that sort of thing. Um, and that you're going to be able to work five days a week in the business because you want to be putting maximum effort in when you're first getting started. It might be in school hours. That doesn't really matter. We're just talking sort of days at the moment. So I'm going to assume that we're working 200 days in your business. So um, 200 days, but those 200 days, you have to market, you have to think about and build work in your business, not just on your business. Um, you have, so that means, you know, actually building the business, thinking about strategy, all of that sort of stuff. And you have to deliver client work in those 200 days. So um, 
the actual client work, the paid portion of that may not be anywhere near the 200 days. So what we're going to actually say is that the paid portion of work is let's estimate 100 days. And I'm using um, some numbers on purpose that are very easy uh, just to show you the maths of this so that it makes sense, but your days and numbers will look a little bit different to this. So let's say that you can bill so for 100 days of work, okay? All right, the next assumption or thing that I want you to be thinking about is how much do you want to earn in the year? I'm going to take more tea while you have a little think about that. Um, so what revenue, so we're not talking about, you know, take home, like take home pay, we're talking about how much revenue do you want to bill in the business? So how much money do you want to make? You've obviously got to pay taxes and all of that sort of stuff. So um, for argument's sake and just because the numbers work well I'm going to say that you would like to eventually achieve a hundred thousand dollars a year okay so let's say that that's the target for the year so basically the um, calculation then becomes pretty simple so to calculate your day rate you simply need to get your annual revenue hundred thousand dollars a year and divide that by the number of days that you want to work for the year, so 100 days. So your day rate would be $1,000 per day. Now, you might be freaking out at the idea of that and thinking, how can I possibly charge $1,000 for my time for a day of work or whatever? This is where you guys are probably going wrong with how much you're charging in your um, design business. Now, I am not saying that you go out to the market and that you say to the market, I charge $1,000 a day, blah, blah, blah. But what I want you to use that $1,000 a day or whatever your calculation turns out to be is I want you to have that in your head and I want you to be thinking when you are pricing up your fee designs, uh, your fee proposals, sorry, and your packages of work. So say you're doing um, some kind of design package project that you're packaging up in your fee proposal. Think about how many days you would typically take to do that piece of work. So say it's a 10 day project, you typically spend 10, the equivalent of 10 full days on that project. That would be then priced at $10,000 a day. Sorry, so that would be priced at $10,000 for the project is what I'm trying to say. So $1,000 a day times 10 would be the $10,000 for that project. So it gives you a baseline for you to start thinking about how to charge. And what you will find when you do this exercise is that if you think about how many days it takes you to deliver a typical sort of project for a client and then you work out your day rate and you multiply those two numbers together my guess is that the bulk of you or many of you will find that you aren't charging anywhere near enough um, for the sort of day rate so we don't need to advertise the day rate or any of that stuff to the market to our clients but we do need to have something in our mind so that we can base it on something so that we can know that we are working towards our goals that we are getting to where we want to with um, what we want to earn in a year. So that's basically what I wanted to share today is that little sort of model um, and just give you a very simple way of starting to sort of base your pricing in something so that you just don't feel like you're plucking numbers out of thin air, which I know a lot of people do. They just pluck numbers out of thin air um, and they hope for the best. And they've got really absolutely no idea whether they're making money or not. So um, that again is a whole other video in terms of whether you are tracking, whether you're actually making any money, are you actually profitable um, in your business? That's a whole other video. But this video is all about helping you to think about this um, calculation here to do with how to calculate a day rate that you can then use to base your fee proposals and other work that you do so that you've got something to sort of found like sort of um, embed your pricing in. So hopefully that's helpful and as I said if you do want more detail and as I said it is also as I also said um, it's an art this is an art so you might find that you start to price things and no one is buying at that level you need to then drop your prices because you're clearly not quite at that level and the market is not responding to that level yet. So um, it's definitely something you're going to tinker with. You might find that you're getting way too much work at the level you're charging. That probably means you need to be raising your prices. So it works and it's something that you're going to tinker with over time. But definitely when you're first starting or if you're finding you're not making any money, I think you should definitely have a think about what this calculation is for you and whether you need to adjust it and particularly adjust what your day rate is so that you can start to think about how that works with your structuring of your fee proposal and your services and that sort of thing. 
The other thing I was going to say is that if you do want some other information about sort of more complicated ways of thinking about this, then definitely jump into my pricing course or into the Passion to Profit course for that sort of more holistic look at how to start and grow your design business. Pricing course is a bit more focused. It's a workshop style course just on the pricing side. So both of those might be of interest to you as well. Hopefully that helps. That's today's video. Um, and I will catch you in our next video. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.